I'm Candy Johnson, makeup artist and lover of all things beauty and fashion. And today, we're gonna to be looking back at the brown matte lip. A beauty trend on all the runways and every red carpet is this look. And I'm gonna show you how to rock it. This is look hashtag TBT, the best history lesson ever. So here we are with our vast array of brown lip color options. The first step is you want to apply your vitamin E stick onto the lips. This is going to make sure that you hydrate the lips before applying our matte lip color. So first I'm going to take the lip liner and just go on the outside and then slightly fill it in. Now we're going to apply our Bahama lip color all over. And there you have your perfect brown matte lip. I love it. And actually, this is pretty on trend and current. See, things just come back around again. Now, let's see where it came from. September 2014. Brown matte lips hit Fashion Week's runways in full force. Girl boss and nasty gal Sofia Amoruso is popular on social media and a mentor to young women. She transforms her eBay business with a flair for 90s fashion into a multi-million dollar business in 2012. We all start finding really cute 90s vintage options on Etsy. And that is because in 2011, clothes from 1991 became quote unquote vintage and sellable on Etsy. Where did Matt Brown go from 2010 back to 1998? Ladies and TV take on the brown lip and rock it through a decade. Oh hey, is that Cindy Crawford in a Revlon ad from 1998? Yep, and there she is hosting House of Style in her signature brown shade. Beverly Hills 90210, Friends, Saved by the Bell, My So-Called Life, from Brenda Walsh to Angela Chase. Ladies carry their brown lipsticks in a caboodle and pull their Rachel from Friends haircut up into a scrunchie. And who is wearing brown lipstick best? Drew Barrymore, Winona Ryder, Courtney Love, Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox. We really could go on here, right? Oh nope, gotta keep moving. By 1992, Starbucks opens 165 stores and continues to open a store like every single day. And everyone becomes obsessed with a chocolate espresso drink called the Mocha. Mm. People like the name and the color. Cosmetic companies use the name for their new shades. Fashion designer Marc Jacobs loves grunge music and falls in love with Seattle street fashion. Thrift store flannels, combat boots, thermals, and beanies. Jacobs designs a grunge collection for Perry Ellis in 1992 and is promptly fired. Who wants to spend all that money on designer grunge? Celebrities, off-duty models, and the press love Jacobs' attitude and continue to pay attention. 1991. Bobbi Brown launches her first line of cosmetics, 10 brown lipsticks. And just around this launch of brown lipsticks, a little band named Nirvana releases an album called Nevermind. Grunge comes out from the underground and explodes into pop culture. And unaware of the pending explosion are the Seattle music scenesters, sporting thrift store thermals and flannels while wearing their version of anti-establishment makeup, the brown matte lip letting everyone know that they don't need the moodiness of black and are far from the tradition of red. Brown is just their own anti-statement, statement-making color. And this is how they wore it. So that was my matte brown lip look, taking you back to the 90s grunge scene. If you liked it or were inspired by something in this video, leave me a comment below. I'd love to read it. Hey, stick around. We look good together, don't we? Click right here for more.